Hey, what's up? On today's episode of Dream to Draw, we're going to continue to experiment with different kinds of proportions with cars. So let's get started. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Arvin here. Welcome to Driven to Draw. And if you remember last week, we talked about Dodge Viper proportions. It's really important that if you're going to be drawing cars or just learning about car design, the proportions play a critical role in the realism because different cars have different kinds of proportions when you're looking at the wheelbase and how long a car is and how short a car is. So last week, we focused on a side view of the Dodge Viper. And today, I'm going to now three-dimensionalize the shape. I'm not necessarily going to be drawing a Dodge Viper, but I'm going to take the same kind of proportions that we have for a Viper, we're just going to create a completely new different car. So let's get started. Now wait, don't forget, if you're driven to draw cool cars and learning about transportation design and how to improve your overall sketching abilities, give me some love and smash that subscribe button right now. So what I'm going to be doing here is, you've seen it in some of my earlier videos, I'm going to start off with the box. I start out with the rectangular box because this really helps to set up my view when I'm starting to draw these cars and it's always important to break things down to primitive and basic shapes because that's really what's going to help your brain kind of rationalize some of these more complex forms. So you have to take it in like a very step by step, you know, basis because if you try to do very complicated shapes then it gets really difficult. So I'm going to start off here with placing my ellipses. Now I haven't gone through the full construction. You know, I've got other videos where I can kind of show you what kind of ellipse, the degrees of ellipse that we use when we're drawing cars in a particular perspective. And I'll show that on a separate video. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna establish the wheelbase, which I'm gonna go ahead and put in about, uh, this looks to be about two and a half wheel spaces, uh, probably closer to two. And what I'm going to do in this particular sketch is try to make the real wheel maybe a little bit larger, but I want to still try to keep the same proportions or I guess the same look with the long hood as we have for the Viper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm creating this huge slab, this huge rectangular slab in shape. And I'm sort of going to carve away at the rectangular box or extend the rectangular box if you know what I mean. You can see my side view. I get a little bit of elevation when I get to the rear of the vehicle to create a little bit of a shoulder. And then when I get to the front, I have a little bit of an overhang. So I don't have the same extension in the front as I do in the rear. And then to three dimensionalize that shape, all I'm doing on the other side is to kind of extrude that shape. So I'm gonna now track with my perspective line the curvature that I had in the foreground and then in the background, I'm gonna use that same curve and I'm gonna take that all the way through. And once I do that, I've basically got a 3D shape already and starting, you know, a 3D shape of the entire car with that proportion. I've added a couple of curves here in the front to, to tie off and give it a little bit of form in the front. And then the second major slab is the greenhouse, which is your, your windshield and your windows that go, off to the, that go off to the front of the car. So as you see this, as I'm sketching, you know, I've got a, a windshield shape. I've got a lot of distance now between the front of the vehicle to the start of the windshield. So I'm already kind of using that long proportion or that long uh, front nose of the vehicle that's supposed to package that massive V10 engine. And this is really a great way to just start with basics because looking at a picture and drawing is one thing, okay? But drawing something from your imagination from your head is completely different. You do need to understand current cars and their styling and how to replicate them. But if you're just drawing cars to replicate them, that's kind of like a different 
art form in itself where you're kind of creating art uh, and that's great because I love to do that too I love to, to paint so when I'm painting cars or doing a rendering I want it to look realistic especially if I'm drawing like a Porsche or something like that right but here when we're drawing these things you have to make sure that you understand proportions and you have to understand form in order to be able to build your shape so now I've got uh, some spokes. I'm just gonna put a simple five wheel spokes on here. So we can flesh it out. I've added some door cut lines. Now here in the front, I'm just gonna put in a shape for my headlamp. And then from there, I'm going to create some curvature because you're going to have a transition so you want the hood the hood is going to come out to the front and then you got to have a little bit of shoulders here uh, elevation slight elevation of that surface to where the headlamps are because it's not all one surface and then I'm going to reinforce the the windshield I'm going to add a side reflection and I'm going to add a little bit of detailing here for the headlamps and you know we're almost done I mean this is all it takes to to start with a quick sketch and I don't think I spent more than maybe 15 10 15 minutes on it we're gonna add a little bit of a character line here on the side and then we'll describe that character line and the shape of what it's doing with the section that's going to um, be described by the door cut line right so the door cut lines got to follow that shape And once again, I'm just going to go back to the drawing and just tie up some loose ends here. And notice the perspective lines, right? Everything is in line with my two point perspective. Nothing's diverging, nothing's out of whack. And that's really important to make sure that when you're drawing things and you're drawing your, your windshield line, that you have a very light marker which is what I'm using here to kind of track your lines in perspective because if they start to diverge and you start to make your your lines um, follow a diverged line it's just gonna look really weird it's gonna look awkward and so perspective is really important uh, making sure that you're setting up your box correctly and now you can kind of see that that whole box is kind of disappeared right <laughs> so anyway I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you next time on Driven to Draw. I got a special Halloween treat for you also. So come back on Monday for the next video. We'll see you then. Have a good one.